All right, what's up, everyone? Today I'm here with Maxime Halley, who is also, his name is Maxime, he's from France. Uh, he's an awesome student in the group, and I wanted to hop on a quick video conference with him and, you know, ask him a couple of questions and see, like, the path he took to, you know, doing, how much did you do in January? Like, over 100K in sales, 100%, I know that, but how much yeah, did yeah. you Yeah, yeah, so in four months, I made almost 300K. Mm -hmm. Four months, that's starting yeah. since... October, November, December, January, and then no, yeah, I, I made almost 200k since January with only two shops. But yeah. I started one year ago, and from April to September, I was just mastering e commerce and creating some new shop and try trying testing new products. That's all. So, tell me like how it went with your first shop. When did you actually launch your first online store? So it was uh, one, one year ago when I was in Shanghai because I was in finance inter internship in Shanghai. Yeah. And so I, I knew before e-commerce. And so I, I started to learn a bit and I started my first shop in, I think it's April or May, 2019. Yeah. And so it was a bit difficult for me because I didn't know nothing. And I, I wanted to try uh, loans, but I... I really, um, uh, really fast. I knew that I needed uh, someone to help me. So first I asked uh, a friend and so I created two shops. So it was like AirPods I tried, mm -hmm. but uh, it wasn't working. And after I moved to beauty, beauty niche. And so I made like 20 K in one month that was really profitable. So just to learn. And after, when I came back to, to France in, was in August yeah. so I was like in a you know I had so, uh, not so much money to invest in e-commerce because I was traveling since six months in Shanghai in yeah. China so I decided to to come back in France in uh, July instead of August because I wanted to um, to have more money to invest in in e-commerce and yeah. I also decided when I came back to France before going to school back I decided to to get back to uh, Burger King to work and get oh, some money. Yeah. And uh, after I moved to Paris, I moved to Paris in September for my uh, master in finance. Mm -hmm. And from now, I decided to create uh, like two or three shops. And from September, it, it blew up really. Yeah. Really. So you joined. Uh, you started working in Burger King so you could gain some cash flow to then invest into e-commerce yeah. and uh, yeah, yeah 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 i did that yeah okay that's amazing when did you join the program exactly well, i remember it was during the summer it was, well, when i came back to france it was in august august yeah like. yeah and so after that i just so watch a video and also learn and speak with you and from that i just tried a bunch a bunch of testing and also scaling mm -hmm. phases and from that I just found like one or two winners and I made like, I think it was in November. I made like a 50 K in, in two weeks, something like that. So it was crazy. And how much profit do you think you made all together into, I mean, with e-commerce over the, the last four months? I think I made something like between 50 and 70 K, but yeah. I reinvested almost like 80% of that in mentoring coaching and also uh learning uh from new people mm -hmm. I'm, it's amazing because every time you tell me you're launching a new store you're testing a new product every time you be like oh i just launched this new store i'm at one thousand dollars in sales it's amazing and then after that like three months later you're like i just launched this new store i'm at seven thousand dollars in sales for the day it's doing amazing you know every time you launch a new product you would just because it's maybe not that the product is more of a winner, but just because you're such a better marketer with the experience and with the coaching that like yeah. you're seeing yeah. more profits too. Like, you know, you send me crazy stuff where your return on ads was like eight, eight for the day, seven for the day. You're like seven X in your money. Right. That, yeah. But that definitely I think that, that I think that nowadays the product is super, super important, but also if you know how to run Facebook ads or even Google ads or influencer, once you know how, how to do it, it's become super easy because you know, you know what to, to do every day and it's super easy and fast to, I mean, to launch new ads. And 
for example, when I was in September last year, I made like, for me, doing like two or two and a half ROAS on ad spend was super, super good for me. And actually I have like two store in one, I am making like seven or eight ROAS with 5K plus in sales per day. So it's like 50% profits per day. It's, it's super crazy. It's funny because everyone's saying with the coronavirus, you know, don't do advertising. Like I'm literally getting messages, swipe ups, like DMs every single day. They're like, don't run advertisements because of the coronavirus. You, on the other hand, you're saying that, I remember you texting me that the competition, there's no competition. Our cost yeah. per thousand impressions goes very low. We're barely paying anything to show our ads to like thousands of people. Our cost per click goes down, our cost per purchase don't, went down. And yeah, because of, partly because of that, and also because you got better, you're seeing an eight ROAS on five, yeah. 50% profit. Yeah, that's the goal. That's like, you know, anyone could launch a store and get 20K in sales. Remember like uh, you did before you joined the coaching. Uh, mm -hmm. But the, the, the ROAS that you've been able to see, that's amazing. Like, Yeah, yeah, because uh, I was able like the... 20, 20, like two weeks ago, I started a new one. So this one with a hate ROAS and I made like 30 or 40 K in two weeks with a, you know, a daily limit budget at $300 per day. Wow. And so with 50% margin and yesterday I got like um, an account disabled. So uh, I started again today, but it was crazy. And you say that too many people ask if, it's too dangerous and risky to launch nowadays because of coronavirus. Mm -hmm. And also I have some people and friends I am helping and mentoring like you. Yeah. And they are, every day they ask me, uh, Max, you think it's better to wait because if we are not able to deliver people and I say, you just, know have the, you just don't have the connection and the, like the supplier because nowadays people are working even with coronavirus. And yeah. even if you cannot deliver in one week or two weeks, you will deliver in three weeks or one month. But if you, if you just send an email to the customer, they prefer to be aware of that than saying bullshit like you will be delivering one week and finally they deliver in one month. But yeah, the, I think it's the better, better moment to start drop shipping now, yeah, really. It's an amazing moment. For, yeah. I don't know like, why, but I think it's just getting, like e-commerce is getting easier, right? Maybe it's just our strategies are getting better. But like over the last year, for sure, like w with every store launch there is, like you kind of already expect the cold testing launch at like two to three row as minimum. That's what I feel for myself. Like it kind of looks like it's the same for you. And since you became yeah. such an e-commerce expert, like your main issue isn't like, okay, what strategy do I use? It's more of like, will Facebook stop shutting down all my ad accounts? Will, you know, will processing be okay? Which is cool, which are our issues like, you know, for someone like ourselves. But what do you think, what was like your mindset when uh, you launched a couple stores like in the beginning? Because there's a lot of people in the beginning, they just quit because they don't get their first winning product. Like what was going through your head when like your first store didn't do the best? You lost maybe money or maybe like just tell me the experience on your first store after joining uh, the coaching and the mentorship. Yeah. So, I mean, me, I don't know if it's because my name is Maxim and your name is Maxim too. Yeah. But I have every Maxim. Mm -hmm. uh, doing entrepreneurial so but yeah yeah so i mean since i am a kid i wanted to launch a, some business but i didn't know which kind of business so i just started to go in a private school to learn finance yeah. and from that i learned a lot of things and so i've decided to start drop shipping because also i did trading mm -hmm. because it's my it's my it's my, um, it's my university it's my school i, I am learning trading and so I starting the, the program with you. And before that, uh, I spent almost three or four thousand K four thousand mm dollars -hmm. and losing those four thousand dollars in Facebook ads because I didn't know what to do. Yeah. And yeah. I think that's yeah, nowadays there is too many people that quit in one, two weeks, even a month mm -hmm. because they don't know how to run Facebook ads or Google ads. And also because they want to save money by doing e-commerce alone. But with that, they just um, spend too much money. And after that they say, okay, dropshipping is bullshit and it's not working and it's just a scam. And I know lots of people that started dropshipping one year ago with me and one week after 
starting dropshipping, they, they, they said, no, Max, it's not possible. There is too many tax to pay. You will not succeed in that. But yeah. me, I was like following uh, like you and a bunch of people doing e-commerce in the world. And I knew that it wasn't fake. It was real numbers. So I said, okay, I know somebody, I, I know some people, they started dropshipping one year ago. They have like 18, 19 years old, even 20 years old. Yeah. And now they are making like 10K a day with 50% profit. So I can do that. So I just learn, 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 learn. And that's why I also start, um, decided when I came back to France to go to Burger King so I can have more cash flow to invest in. And I think that if you have a real goal, so me, my first goal was to help my mother and my father to have a more like, um, like a better life, like to travel the world and also to enjoy uh, I mean, better things. And I think it's because I had a real, real goal. But yes, yeah. it's like, I feel like you are on the same exact path I was, like 100%. I was trying to do dropshipping, I was a lifeguard, uh, trying to gain cash flow as well, right? Uh, my main goal also was to travel, to take my family to cool places, to Italy, you know, to give them a good lifestyle. Both of us are named Max. It's just, so many different connections when my first you know i knew e-commerce like from the bottom of my heart when i just started that it was the real deal right that it was going to work and you're kind of lucky because you have that mindset like some people yeah they just they're so skeptical they don't have confidence in their entrepreneurial abilities so they you know they're not sure they're going to succeed so they get scared they want to do this they want to do that uh they want to they think that affiliate marketing or uh stock trading is the new you know gold mine yeah. They have the, the shiny object syndrome. That's what it's called, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you do this. This is the real way to make money, right? But yeah, if you but think, think it, go ahead. I think it's because the people just hear from friends that okay, dropshipping is working now, so you have to start dropshipping. And after uh, like one month after they 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 hear from the family or I don't know, and okay, stock trading is working now. You have to start stop trading. And so people they just want to, 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 to become an entrepreneur, like an entrepreneur, just to have more money. But they are thinking it's super easy and it's like a part-time job. Yeah. And so they, they, even a lot of people ask me, okay, man, if I start dropshipping, can I lose, can I lose money or, or is it safe? You know, I say, yeah. okay, man, dropshipping is safe, but you can lose money for sure. It's a, it's a business. So, and even with people saying to me, okay, I just have 200 euro to invest. I say, man, you just go to start uh, a job like Burger King or McDonald's. And once you have like two, three, or even $4,000, you can invest on, it, on that. But I think just people are so afraid of doing something that people don't use to. So what, what do you think the, your plan is for 2020 in dropshipping like what are your future goals so actually as i told you before so um i finish uh, school for now because i have a, a last year to do but i will take a gap here because i want to focus on business yeah. and also like school is now a second option for me like uh, if business is not working super good i have like a second option a plan b but uh, for now, since January, so I moved back to my family so I can enjoy with them. And also I can focus um, primarily on business and developing my team. So yeah. actually build a three people team in my country, in my, in my city. So we can um, start making a super high number. So we want to, to scale to almost 20K per day. Uh, yeah. I, will do, I will do that in the, the next month. And from April or May, I, I want to start to travel in the, like in maybe in USA or go to Bali yeah. to start to enjoy But With the coronavirus, I, I don't really know. So we just wait and focus on business. And once I want to move, I, I will just move like, like you, I think. And after that, um, so I want to start also maybe creating like you some courses to help people in France because in France there is lots of people um, uh, creating formation and courses but it's lots of people 
do that just for the money and the, the content is not super super good and yeah. also high ticket drop shipping is not super super developed in yeah. uh, in in France so uh, I want to focus on that and also start again trade stock trading because it's my primary you Next know um, yeah yeah I mean I think yeah the French market is like insane for e-commerce as of now like there's yeah. I read I saw that like in 2019 there was like 680 billion dollars in US e-commerce sales in the United States. Uh, so many people are running e-commerce ads in the US. I saw guys in France uh, when I was in Switzerland, they were running Shopify stores. They were doing like 160K days from influencers. <laughs> like, I'm not even joking. I, I was like, what the hell? They're just like refreshing it. Every single second, there's more sales, 160K in a day, right? And that's like the, the amazing part with e-commerce. It's not like a side hobby thing that you're doing part-time. It's it could be the best business model in the world, right? You're yeah. always looking for more sales. That should be fun for an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. right? Creating different stores, launching different stores and just aiming for like insane revenue days. Like business can be extremely fun. And yeah, like France definitely needs help. I think in that thing is you, you're going to kind of ruin uh, the momentum we have going, like selling profitably in France by creating a course. But at the same time, you know, the people, whoever is in France, you know, they're going to have a, better strategies, my strategies uh, apply to the French market and yeah. through you, which would be pretty cool. Yeah, but also I think that uh, in Europe, the competition is so, there is no competition like in USA because even the CPM or the CPC are so low. In my, in my store right now, I have yeah. like two euro CPM, so which is wow, unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And also I think that's, like one or two years ago, when I started to to just be interesting in the dropshipping model, I knew that it was super easy to to start a store because you didn't have to to master and have a real knowledge because people didn't know this kind of um, selling products. Yeah. And actually, with Facebook becoming harder and harder with us, with uh, with um, the disabled account and everything with that. And also with people knowing that dropshipping is right now on Facebook, on Instagram, everywhere, you have to become super, super, um, I mean, an expert on that. And so people just uh, doing dropshipping to make a little money or even doing dropshipping alone, they cannot succeed right now. So I think that once you master e-commerce and you have the right people with you, yeah. And in Europe, for example, it's like a blue ocean because nobody can just uh, compete you. So it's even me, uh, my, my two shops, I have like one or two competitors on that. And yeah. nobody is trying to, 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 to replicate my, my shops in France. It's unbelievable. That's insane. Yeah, they, they don't even know how to find profitable yeah. shops. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Which is pretty funny. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, we're going to wrap up this interview about now. Is there anything else you'd like to add for people, you know, just starting out? Like one thing I want to add as well is, you know, there's way too many people going to drop shipping, like with the mindset of, yeah, this is part time. It's in, and they're thinking it's so easy because in reality, like you said, it is easy. I had my first profitable shop, like where I made over 10K in a month when I was 15 years old. Like my brain was just so much smaller. I knew nothing. Right. And I was still making some type of sales because you launch an advertisement, you're sending thousands of people onto a store. And if you do it somewhat right, you know, those people, they will buy from your store. It's that like, that is the business model. It's pretty simple. Yeah. But then once you actually take the time to master, especially Facebook advertising and product research, then, you know, okay, it's, we know it's easy to get sales, but in reality, then the whole challenge is like hitting these high revenue ceilings like over and over and higher and higher every single time. And for that, you really need proper coaching. You really need the uh, proper, you know, advertising skills and the proper marketing tactics, which are not being taught in many different places. So with yeah. that being said, we're going to wrap this up about now. If, is there anything you'd like to say about the one-on-one -on -one mentoring uh, program to the people watching? Would you recommend it? Uh, would you? Yeah, yeah, for, for sure. I, I mean, from, from the, the beginning, I started this one-on-one -on -one mentoring program and also learning with the online courses. 
yeah. I learned so much because in France we cannot find this kind of uh, of uh, knowledge and I think that there is too many people even if in your course asking me okay Maxim is super um, is super um, uh, have a, a lot of work to do and he, he don't answer and I say it's it's normal man because you have to master e-commerce with the one-on-one -on -one, uh, mentoring program and also the, the courses online and yeah. once you make some sales you can reach max and you can um, increase your sales and go to the to the higher level yeah. and many people they just um, they DM me and saying, okay, I started like two, two days ago. I have no sales, man. I think it's not working. I say it's, you have to master and have a really why and also a real mindset because even for me, it, it took like several months to, to get some sales and become profitable. So yeah, several months. Like it, yeah. when you're in the moment, it might feel like forever, but looking back five, five years from now, like me looking back, when I was 15 years old, like thinking, okay, is this gonna work or not within those first couple of months, right? Looking back, that was such a short time. You know, in real business and any other business model, it might take you two, three years to actually build a profitable business, right? With franchises, right? You invest $750,000 to get like a Dunkin' Donuts franchise, right? To make that money back and then go into the profit, it might take you like three, four years, but you know, for e-commerce, it takes a couple of months. Yeah. Anything else you'd like to say about the one-on-one -on -one program that's one thing I, I, I tell to the clients right now right away like getting sales the beginning part it's kind of easy right anybody can get sales but just yeah. do the hard work in the beginning master facebook advertising then for me personally like just hopping on calls and helping students scale from like five hundred dollars a day to like three thousand dollars a day that's a lot more fun that it's a little more challenging right because that's where they actually need my help in but if you know if they're struggling getting their first like three hundred dollars in sales it means they're just simply not putting in the work to really learn it, like Facebook ads. Yeah. And also because the, the online courses, you can you can alone get some sales. But after the point with dropshipping and e-commerce in general is that every product and every market and also every Facebook account are different. So mm -hmm. even me, if I launch a product and you do the same, you will not scale and also optimize the ads um, the same way. So that's why we need, and also I tell people they need the one-on-one -on -one, uh, mentoring um, with, with some people because you have to just uh, check with, for example, with you, why this ad set is working, why it's not working with another ad account. And you cannot do that just with an online course. So that's why, one-on-one -on -one mentoring is i think it's better for every people yeah courses will they'll help you a lot get sales get started especially you i remember you sent me a video you're like watching the retargeting module over again so you can be better than the boss that was pretty funny um but basically um uh, you can only go so far with courses because the best marketers are the ones that are very good at reading the data and an analyzing the data and deciding what to do next and that yeah. kind of you could you know, learn that through advertising, but in your first campaign to reaching to $3,000 a day in sales, like no one in their first try can do that successfully. You need someone yeah. to do that data and tell you which campaigns to launch, what exactly to do. And once you have that experience, like, like you, you keep on launching new stores, you kind of have the idea of how to read and analyze the data and how to scale the stores further. And now every time you launch a new product, you're testing a new product, your ROAS is higher, your sales are higher. And it's an amazing thing. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. So, um, yeah, that's going to be it for this student interview. Thank you so much for joining, Max, speaking from Paris, right? You're in Paris at the yeah. current moment. Yeah, near Paris, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I'm in South Africa, both of us connected. You were in China, I was in New York. Pretty crazy yeah. how the world works. But, yeah, thank you so much for joining. I hope, you know, students got more insights, uh, like, from a, from a mind, from a successful student in the course in the program and i hope they you know take a lot of what we learn and apply to their own businesses and make the proper decisions like either getting into a one-on-one -on -one program or um, like really putting in the work or even joining a job and getting some cash flow to then get into business because if you're like stuck at you know five hundred dollars to your name you won't really get far quick enough you couldn't you know reinvest profits but that's really hard to do in your first try so thanks again for joining
uh, we'll speak after I'm back vacationing and, uh, you know, I'm trying to go to see a little more of Cape Town right now in South Africa, maybe go to a beach. After that, I'll get back, we'll speak, and we'll focus on how we can launch stores together. That's something I like to do uh, with students, one-on-one -on -one students a lot as well, and going into partnerships. Uh, you know, everyone brings their own piece of their experience, expertise. It's pretty fun. So thanks again for joining. Uh, we'll talk soon. Bye. Yeah.